Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Excel video 135. We kind of had difficult, complicated Excel video last time. This time we're going to go for easy. So what I want to do is start to create the chart. Shift in and down. And let's insert a line, just a 2D line, and start to replicate the charts today. Let's see if we can make these charts get a little bit closer to what we had to start with. Eh, something like that's great. What I want to do is just make this chart look like this bottom one for a minute. So I think let's just get rid of this. And I want to play with this axis. See how this axis has an awful lot of data in here. And here I'm only doing January and July. January and July. This has got like January, March. Who knows what else? It looks like maybe... Um, Maybe it's, maybe it's January, May, September. That's what it is. It's every four months. So what we're going to do is I'm going to right-click and format the axis. And my major unit, yeah, it's four months. So no, no, you know what? Let's, give a, let's only show every six months just so we have more space in our chart. That's all I want to do there. So now what I've got is January and Jul July, January and July of each year. So I go along, and I'm a little bit closer to what I want here, and I'm a little bit closer to what I want there, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's take this whole chart, copy and come up oh here and paste. And then let's do this. Let's just click right here. 2005 to 2010 collections. Do the same thing here. Rolling 12 month collections. We're closer now. Now what we need to do is we need to chart the 12 month range here and we need to get the shade here. In order to make that work what we're going to do is we're going to do a named range to always keep track of this thing no matter where it moves. So even if it goes down to there what we want to do is always track that in this chart and in the chart above it. Stay tuned next time we'll set up two named ranges so that the months and the data move as we change either the scroll bar or as we change this cell. Thanks for watching.